Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate and this is Katie Noor. I hope you are well and thank you very much for watching this video. So today I am doing a video all about weaning a fussy baby. So I currently have a 13 month old. She is eating food now but it has been a long hard journey. It has not been easy. Uh, we have found the weaning process quite difficult and um, I just thought I would share my tips because it's, it's a lot easier now we've sort of gone through the process and I've learned a lot of tips along the way so I thought I would just share them with you. So this is so I thought I'd just get started and hopefully you'll find this useful. So babies normally tend to get weaned between four to six months so you recommend to start at about six months old um, because that's when they can get like properly digest food. So we started weaning Pippa a little bit earlier but it was because she was staring at us and she was doing all the signs that she was hungry, not just staring at us. That sounds a bit weird, like she's just staring. Um, but she was doing everything else said that she was hungry. Um, when it came to it, it actually took her until she was about eight months old. She was constantly like gagging at food. She just hated pureed food. And, and she hated finger the food. Just couldn't get anything into her for ages. And then one day she just started to go in. But I did have to try every trick in the book so sometimes so I remember having to like try and feed her like regularly um the puree food and she'd like I just sort of have to like put the spoon up to her mouth and she would sort of just like lick it and then she was like oh I actually quite like that and then eat it. Are we having hot cross bun? We're having hot cross bun and some Weetabix which you're not too keen on. Should we try? Um nom 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 um nom 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 yay clever girl my first tip is try not to stress you don't meet adults who don't eat at all you don't eat adults who eat puree unless they have to eat puree food you eventually your child will eat food the more they eat, the less fussy they're going to be, that's what they say. But try not to stress about it. Your child will be still be getting nutrients from the milk they need. And if you're worried that they're not getting the right amount in, then speak to your health visitor. Because just the first initial stages of weaning and all that is just about getting that taste. So try not worry too much that they're not eating. Because that's what I did. I was so worried that she wasn't getting the right amount. But she's been putting on weight and she's absolutely fine but it does try not to stress about it because your baby will pick up on you being stressed and it's just no point you will get through it i promise so my second tip is if you try your baby with a certain food say so like pureed or like i think if it's like banana or something like that then if you don't like it don't give it them again just take it away from them and try again a few days later because babies are so they can be different depending on day to day. So you may, may like something on one day, you may not like something the other day. There is no point trying it with them because they'll just not like, they'll just get really upset and angry that you keep putting this food in something that they don't like. Um, so for example, Pippa, when she was little, she really did not like um, apple, but now she's happy to eat an apple as long as it's like a full one that I'm holding for her. So it's just depends, you've got to try different things. So my third tip, is it's a really good habit to get into it is to encourage them to eat with you eat at the same time so it might mean that you have to adjust your times that you eat it might mean you have to adjust the meals you eat a bit but it really does help so if your child sees you eating they'll think oh well, that's what mummy and daddy do then that's what i'll do so like if you sit at the table or if she's having a snack and you have the snack the same snack it's really good and it also gets them think like just get into good routine and habits um, so we always eat on dinner time, we always have to have it a bit earlier, about half, five, six. And we sit at the dining table and she sits in the high chair and she really, it's, she always eats a lot better than if we just let her eat on her own. So my fourth tip is, it's really hard to like understand sometimes, at the very beginning at least, between spoon fed and baby led weaning and you just don't know which one to go to. I mean personally for me, I really struggled to know who, if I was going to do baby led or spoon fed, and I kept getting all this mixed information in my nursery, who were giving Pippa spoon fed, and they said that they didn't agree with baby led, and it was just very confusing. But what we found was best that if we mix things up and we change things, so sometimes Pippa will eat off the spoon, sometimes she won't, sometimes she'll eat baby led. So, um, for example, this morning she had pancakes, 
Um, so that's obviously um, baby led. And then other times she will eat um, like a curry or off a spoon. It just depends what mood she's in as well. Sometimes she just won't want a spoon. Other times she will. So I think it also helps you know as well that she's exploring the textures of her hands. You know that she's in control of what she's eating. You're so all helping her as well. There is no harm in doing a bit of both. My fifth tip is to let your baby explore the food. Now this may seem a bit strange, but if, and if, you're mess, if you don't like mess, then you're not going to like it. But it really does work. So when we were going for a really difficult stage of people not accept anything off a spoon, she was really not eating anything, and we found it really difficult to, to do that for her. And then she was also being a bit fussy with her finger, like weeding the food as well. Um, I would put like so. I would put a bit of rice, baby rice pudding on a spoon. I would leave it on her high chair for her. She sort of dip her fingers into it and sort of try and like feed herself. And that would really work for her. So in the mornings, what we'll do is when we give her a porridge, I'll feed her a spoonful. She'll take the spoon off me. She'll eat, try and feed herself one, and then we'll sort of take it in turns. And she really prefers that way. And she's sort of trying to, she's growing. She doesn't want to just be fed as well off a spoon. She wants to do it herself. So that's a tip. Is it really does help them explore textures and food because they don't always babies can't always understand. Yes, that looks, that doesn't look that great, but it's tasty, so they just, they just got to explore it with little tiny fingers. But yes, your carpets will get ruined. But, but that's just part of having a baby. So my next tip is to go back to basics. So if you're worried that your baby's not eating properly, or they're not enjoying what they've eaten, so you might be on like stage two or stage three, eating them like more solid foods and eating proper foods, then I would, go back to basics, I would just start with going back to puree, things that they like, there is no harm in doing that and you know that your baby's getting the right nutrients in them. So I was a full back for me, if Pippin is hungry, if she is not eating what I give her, she will always eat a banana, she loves a banana and I know it's good for her, I can give it her and she, and she will let me feed that to her or she'll feed it herself and that's my go back to. Um, if all else fails. A so. next tip is, I was like, a, it's similar to another tip I said, but give your baby a spoon to hold when they're eating. It gets them used to holding cutlery, it gets them used to feeding themselves, or if you use like baby cutlery, like baby forks. So for like Pip, she really prefers to eat like, if we eat a meal, she won't always eat it off a, a baby spoon, but if I give her off my fork, she, she thinks it's mine and she'll eat it then baby logic but that's just something that to try like get her used to holding a spoon and well she always ends up putting the right end in the mouth at the very beginning it was all over the place my next tip is to encourage regular feeding so at first we would like miss a few meals or like she'd just have a bottle and we were a bit haphazard so like say if I was home, I would always give her breakfast, lunch and dinner. If Andy was home, he would sometimes miss dinner because he was just busy. And that would not get her into a very good routine or I think she would be hungry. Again with my, like Pippa goes to her grandparents. My mum normally is pretty good with her routine. My dad will sort of do what he likes and just sort of not stick to her routine. So it just depends as well. But it also affects her mood, her sleeping how hungry she is so we always try and give her at least three meals a day and snacks in between even if she isn't eating everything at that meal at least only she's getting regular food like some food at those meal times and that like gives me some reassurance that she's eating something My next tip is to make your own food as well. So Pippa hates pureed food, you know, like from a jar or one of those pouches, like those um, squeezy ones. She will not eat them at all. She will. She knows it's not homemade. My little girl knows if it's homemade or not. She can just tell. If you're really struggling with your baby, just check see if it's what you're giving her. Does it need? Does she need it? Um, it needs to be more homemade 
do, do, do you want to actually prefer pureed in jars you make those decisions but just have a look because you never know and it might help you so. What's this? No! Oh. My final tip is babies eat less than we think. So we think that babies need to have um, a good portion size. So we, the what portion that we give a baby is very different to what a baby should be eating. So say if I gave Pippa a rice cake, Pippa might only eat a quarter of that rice cake and that would fill her belly up but for me I'd be thinking oh she's still she's not eating enough she's still hungry but that's normal in babies and that's absolutely fine but because we're parents and because of like our human nature we think that people should be eating more than they should be and that's just not true for babies they got their own paces they've got their own little belly fulls I can when Pippa's full I can see it like sticking out so that's like a good indication that she's full so those are my tips for weaning a fussy baby. I hope you find them useful. Let me know your tips for weaning a fussy baby or weaning a baby at all. Pippa is 13 months old now and I, I'm still learning. I'm still learning about feeding a baby. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you all for another video very, very soon. Thank you. Goodbye, 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 goodbye.